You may remember last year when we toured some of the most decorated streets of Buffalo and recognized the artists that brought the building walls to life. Well, we hit the streets again, this time with Idris Wajed, to look at his murals and how they not only beautified our city, but inspired change and called officials to take action. Take a look. So my parents, they were both artists, the household of two artists. Early as I can remember, there was art everywhere. You were you born know? into it. I was certainly born into it. Idris Wajed is a renowned artist in the Western New York area, known for his mural art in particular. And he shares with us how public spaces became not only his outlet for expression, but his service to the community. I think one of the things early on is that people saw that I had a skill, so they came to me for a particular need. You know, so I think that I'd always been in the practice of being of service, so to speak. I think, you know, I just didn't recognize it then. Now the large cement canvases of Idris's work are recognizable across Buffalo, but let's go back to one of the places it all began. 2017, okay. that was like my first entry into the space, and this wall here was like the first time that I was out at this scale, right? It was just an opportunity that came about, and they really made this a big community event. So mm -hmm. gave them rollers, gave them paint, mm -hmm. so they were a part of the entire process. And this is called the protector of dreams. So this is the protector, right? Lion is symbolic of courage and things of that nature, leadership. And it's guarding, over on the other side, it's guarding a young girl with wings on her back yeah. as she's dreaming. We don't have to snap back to our reality of all the things that kind of confront us as a black and brown community. Community collaboration for beautifying an area is a part of public mural art, but there can also be messages through the walls that invoke deeper conversations. And this wall is a special one in particular for Wajed. People ask me what's my favorite. It's close. Yeah? It's close. It's up there. It's close. <laughs> it's a powerful mural. It's called uh, Love Black. Mm -hmm. And so I've been toiling with this idea for a while, but right after the George Floyd, you know, uh, incident, mm -hmm. um, it's just a message, a simple message, but a powerful message. Love black girls even when they become women. Love black boys even when they become men. And the sentiment behind that is, you know, obviously a, a black man being murdered publicly on video for the world to see, and there was no humanity behind it. So this is like, the symbol of what the humanity that I wanted to promote and have people think about here in our town because we are in a segregated city. Yeah. People don't want to acknowledge that, but we are in a heavily segregated city. And the message stands today and tomorrow. Beyond the art, sometimes projects like this are larger than the sum of their parts and evolve into greater turning points for a community as a whole. The Albright Knox put out notification of this project kind of happening. There was only one artist involved in the fold originally. And this one is a prime example to me, this large project of a large institution being in the community, the community being up in arms or upset or not pleased, and that institution putting a halt to their plans and actually listening. Nice. The community having voice, having advocacy, having being seen, listened to, and even trusted that they know what they want for where they live. This desolate area now has street lights. Yes. We're walking on the street in the middle of a Buffalo winter and the yes. street is shoveled. Yes. I don't think this would have happened. Yeah, I agree, I agree. It's the awareness portion of it now, right? That's what mural making, right? Putting art in places can do. It slows you down. It makes you observe. Mm -hmm. so it really starts to snowball meaningful conversation. Every place where there's a mural, there's a rich history behind the people and the community that surround it. When you started doing public mural art, did you expect to be where you are now? And the fact that you've made historical landmark sites, community changing work with your art? Never. And for Western New Yorkers, these public works of art have not only changed the visual landscape, but have helped bring communities together, giving them a sense of pride and unity. My hope, though, is that there are enough advocates, right, that live in those neighborhoods or that have positive experiences with, you know, with those, you know, th those projects of beautification and things of that nature. I let, let those people say what it is.